So in sculpting, you can sometimes want a custom mat cap because some of them just kind of suck or you just can't find a good one that suits your needs. So today I'll teach you how to make your own custom one inside of Blender. Let's go. All right, so here we are over on Blender. So let's just set everything up to start working. All right, so first off, all we're gonna need is gonna to delete this cube, okay? So delete the default cube and we're gonna to have to add in a shift A UV sphere. All right, this is going to be the sphere that we add our matcap color to. So we're going to have to subdivide this. I'm just going to go to modifies, add subdivision, and then I'm going to change this to two just so we get some like good smooth edges and don't have any like blocky things when we're working with our matcap. All right, then shift A, add a camera. Okay, so you can see the rotation is weird. So I'm going to go Alt R and let's go R X 90. Uh, 90, not negative there. Okay, and then drag it back. Now, if I go to camera view, you can see it looks like this. I'm going to go to camera and change this to orthographic and then change the resolution to 1080 by 1080. So just go to this little printer icon and you can change the resolution because we need a square icon, not a uh, like a 1920 by 1080 uh, thing when we render out our matcap. So the then we have to do is the orthographic scale. So orthographic is basically just flat. Uh, I just wanted to do that so we don't have any like perspective warping on our circle. So orthographic scale, so we can just use it to zoom in. We can just zoom in slightly more there. So just like it's barely going over the edges. Uh, that just means it'll be slightly bigger. So you won't get any like weird things on the edges when you add the matte cap. All right. So this is the basics of what you actually need. So what can we start doing now to add like colors and lights and stuff to actually make our matte cap? So start to it so all i'm going to do is go to the top right corner and uh, just right click vertical split right click vertical split splits it like this so we have on the left we have our uh we have our sphere and then the right we can move around and start working on colors and lights and stuff so you can either do this in cycles or ev i'm just going to do ev for now and then render it into the final in cycles so on the left i'm going to go z rendered and then change my background color to black and start adding some lights. So I'm going to go shift a light area and then I can bring this around and bring this forward. Maybe make it a bit bigger. Okay. And then drag up the strength. Okay. And then I'm going to shift D, bring this around to the back, add like a small rim. Okay. Make it, make it a bit smaller, bring it forward, make it so it's like a little bit brighter. Okay. And then it's very dark over here. So I'm just going to go shift and D, bring this around and bring it down, bring it, rotate it up, scale it up, drag down the power. Okay. And then we can also change colors of some of these. So maybe if you want to make it like slightly warm, so you can make it like a slightly warm color. Maybe make the rim even more warm like that. And when it be pink, let's make it more like orange. Or not doing that, you just change the color of it. So if you just go new, and make this be like a orange color. Maybe you want to make like some sort of like clay or something. And you can just change the roughness if you want, but usually having a full, like having a matte thing over here is fun. So something like this, okay? So if we have it like this now, uh, preferably, it doesn't really matter, but you can just render it with transparency if you want. Uh, I don't think it matters. You can render it in EV, you can render cycles, doesn't matter. Um, and then we can just go, I'm going to change it to cycles, set my settings. Um, I'm just going to set this up. So yeah, I don't really want it to be orange. I'm going to make it white again. Okay. And I'm going to make it this slightly darker. So let's make this like a seven. And then this one like that. We bring that up. Okay. So there. So if we happy, whatever we have, we can just go set this up. And then I'm just gonna make this like 10 samples. Doesn't need to be that much. And then just go render, render image. All right, so you can see here I have it. It doesn't matter that we cut off like some of the corners. Uh, that was like intentional. So then we can just go like save our image. I'm just gonna go matte cap. Uh, or just say custom matte cap there. Okay, so we can just close this. And then now what we can do is we can do it in the same file. You can also save it if you want to like save it for like later. So I'm just going to go map cap template, save this and go to the triangle and then drop down. So what we can do here is click on settings and this will pop up our blender preferences. So what we can do now, 
So what we can do now is you can see this madcaps thing. I already have a bunch of custom uh, madcaps. I downloaded these. I don't think I've have any custom ones, but now we do. So all you have to do to open this up is just go install, go find where you uh, saved your image. So I have my custom madcap, install that. Okay. And then you can see it pops up over here. Now you can also change this to be a like one of the other ones, like H2 rather and stuff in Zorcha. But this is fine for now. So you can close this, go to the top right, go to Matcap, and then choose the one that I just added. Okay. And now you see this is on our sphere. Now if I go to sculpt mode, you can see as I start working, it works. Yeah. So let me remove this this that's sub subdivision. So you can see it works now and then whatever you want you can create it inside of a, uh, that black scene and add it to your thing and install it yeah cheers if you found this interesting click on this video over here cheers